Good, whatever it is, I'm Antelus, Space Engineers. So it's been a little while since I've just straight up played this, and honestly, it's because of a lack of an objective. So I've added a couple mods that will give me a little bit more of an objective, and I also skipped the part where I choose my landing site. And we're landed. Cool. So our objective actually of course is going to be first to make it back to space. Let's take off the helmet. We don't need that. We're just oxygen. And that pack was honest. So our goal is to get up there. I've added a bunch of things such as pirates and stuff and I want um I'm thinking a bounty hunt. And given there's no way that Bounty on will actually get me money. I don't know ex entirely how that's going to work out, but I think it'll be fine. So, oh, good, we've already got our drill on us. Um, I'm, I'm trying to decide what sort of base I want to set up. And I think what I want to do, actually, is rather than build into the mountain, build something kind of just like on top of this little edge right here. Because I like how it overlooks the whole area. It's kind of defended from behind. And yeah, I, I think this will be a good spot. Let's see. Oh, of course, there's always another hill that looks good. Get there. But yeah, I think this will be our spot. And I, I've landed a little bit away, so there will be some running back and forth while we get set up. Got to grab steel plates. That's what I was going to the cargo container for, not. So do that and I will repark a little bit closer like third plus me I just yeah I'm gonna repark thought I was gonna jump off there for sure and go ahead lock us so one of the mods I added is a speed mod and that's not going to be super important while we're on a planet, but when we finally get back to space, I think that will be kind of sort of really vital, as I don't want to take forever traveling, whether or not I have a jump drive. Keep going forward. Man, it is much harder to park a spatial car. And call us good at the base of the mountain for our little soon to be dwelling way park and of course all the thrusters are not set up save off okay that will save us some power. We have 34 days at this level of power consumption. That should be fine. I plan to tear this down long before that happens. Three, no plates, and lock. Mix up my kiwis. So, I like basing my things somewhat on how it's actually gonna work. I'm gonna put this about high as it goes. Sorry, by that I mean based somewhat on reality. Oh, it goes higher. That's not gonna work. Not for me. Sorry. Delete and. That's close enough. This is the highest point. We're gonna have to build support beams at various other points. And the name is just temporary. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna call this series. Error on it. But we'll see. Let me know if you have any ideas for the video. I think that's a decent starting size.
a little bit wider in both direction. Direction. There. Round. That's all I mean. I just I like the style of not really having it floating. And I know it makes absolutely no difference really. There we go. But I like it. I think it looks better. Realism in the game. And I know there's a life support mod. I really do. But I've used it in the past and it was just buggy enough. And it doesn't look like it's updated since then. I don't. At this rate of slope, we could be doing this forever. <laughs> One more? Wow, that was loud. Okay, so we have a good long walkway into our little room. I'm going to set up some solar panels on thinking on I like doing them on the roof but I like having a view I want the view of these directions so I think I think I will do them off of or maybe I'll build some sort of assembly off the side and them out the back so that will be good to go get oh I just built that into the ground. So. I didn't think that worked with ships. I have some power cells. Let's hide. Solar cells, plates. Construction. Enough to get us started. Yeah, I think I do want to build just a platform up the back. How? What are my precious hydrogen? And yes, we've got a lake right there. I know I can need that. We're going to use the center of art. It's what we're calling the center. So. That actually drops a little faster than I thought it would. I want to have a little bit of a down walkway. So I need the ground to fall away a little faster from it. I think that's fast enough. Enough of it at least. Block. One of the hard things that I always feel like I'll never be this hard. Okay, and we're going to use hydrogen enough. That there. Now let's do like a tiered thing. That. No, that's not good. Do double. Yeah, that's fine. This. Normal block. And then I'm thinking this is where I'll start building out the landing pad, and that's where I'm going to put the solar wing. I think it will be far enough away that it will still get sun, and it's going to be about as wide as the base. Let's faster. And yeah, I think that'll be good. Go more in this direction, and I know my entryway isn't really centered, but it's really not centered. I'll fix that a little bit. Oh, that's three in each direction, so we're good. Then 
and then I'll add the little legs to the rest of that later. We're going to get the solar panels up next, because it means I don't need to be up there. These... Go like that, and we'll do the same thing on the other side, and that will have us some power generation. Okay, so we'll just need to start welding this up, and that's the basic base that we'll need for survival. Yeah, all of our solar cells, large steel tubes, computers are needed. And more solar cells, large steel tubes, of course. Yeah. Yeah, this is really, really off. I'm gonna have to fix that. That's gonna bother me. Yeah, I'm okay with it being a little lopsided, just not that bad. Up, and I'm gonna paint this later too. Hopefully I can get it looking a little bit better than just the default gray. Back and forth, that's gonna be a lot of what's happening today. All of those. Balls. I would. Oh wow! It got dark fast. Light. Huh? Was even? But it didn't look even from the back. Hi. That's even too. Hmm. Really strange. I'll have to. Pop off what I just added. Add another solar panel right next to these. Like I said, we're going to do solar wings on this. So we'll do it on both sides. Awesome, that will be three solar panels up and running. We'll get a battery built so we can have power through the night. Even though we don't really need power through the night, it's always nice to have it. I'd like to get some turrets operational as well. Just as I don't think there's any turret that can kill me, but I don't recall for sure. So. Off before I forget. Perfect. I'm gonna want a door over there. I'm just gonna take this door and move it over. Because I like the sliding door way better than the old door. Because it's so much bigger. So I feel like it makes a lot more sense to have. Sorry about the loud trucks if you can hear those. door. I don't feel like there's really a front and the back on this. I'm just gonna put it down like this. And then we'll do one on the back as well. I guess the front and back to me is just however you want the door. Yeah. I like the door being on the far side. Huh. I thought our solar cells or our solar panels weren't generating power. Oh, that's the issue. I went off. That's what I'll have to fix. 
So that's why it looks so lopsided. Because I made it lopsided. I might leave it though, because I feel like it fits with the mountain of, or the hill a little bit better. Actually, let's design out the rest of the structure. So. Thinking. I don't really want to go just for like your standard cube building. That is the way I'm currently headed. At least around the corners for now. And we'll give it a little bit more of a design. Oh. That is one of the worst settings, I feel like. Press T to shut that off so it doesn't try to align the blocks for me. It remembers what I said. Where we'll cap it. After all the hours I've played of this, I never get blocks correct. Still rotate that again for some walls. I like having these up just because it's some form of security where there's been none. And these doors are the only entry into here. I don't need to worry about the sidewall. Bumping key. Why? I think that will do for our overall structure. Yeah, I even built that piece where the center was. I shift this one over. That would have to go one further that way, and that one in. That's even less center. Right? I don't know. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do there. And I guess it doesn't really make much of a difference on this side, given the doors stuck open. I like having completed blocks. Framing this. Now I'm gonna change the way the pillars go down as well. But I just want some sort of a roof over my head. What else do I need? I need a cargo container too, that's for sure. Um, sorry. Oh. Move all this down. Come with me. And I am completely out of hydrogen. This is hooked up though, right? Yes it is. Okay. Again, with a lot of vehicles behind me. I'm sorry about that. Usually I time this better so that doesn't happen. Our cargo container. I'm just going to continue with what I usually do. Find it in the floor. I don't like having them everywhere and I keep having my space taken up before I've really planned on 
So that's what building them floor does for me. Is I can still use most of this. I still feel like space isn't occupied. Still walk over. Awesome. Okay. And now there really is no power. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, I think that's where I'm going to call this episode. We've got a decent start. We've got... Let's run upstairs so we can see what we started building a little bit better. We've got the basics of our survival base built. We know what we're going to do. But we've got solar panels. We've got a decent base. Build additional refineries and assemblers. Yeah, I, I'll do that later right now. Like I said, I... I like to pretend like I'm really surviving here, so shelters first and then everything else later. And design and build combat craft for defensive purposes. Yeah, we're probably going to need that. So anyways, I'm Antelos. I'll catch you later.